yeah hello everyone i am lawala de tunji your mathematics tutor so i greet you welcome to the mathematics classroom and likewise happy preparation for mathematics that will be written tomorrow from all the videos that we have released today i have told you a lot of things concerning uh, some questions we have been seeing but what matter most to tutor is no matter any question you see you solve it so that people that want to learn will learn and people that you need to discuss together we discuss with you so one of the questions or one of the versions of the questions we have seen which we need to lay our hands on is what we are we are treating right now so you can see we'll be doing it gradually at least two two questions uh, per video so that it won't be longer now i have question one and likewise i have question two so in that is in this video we are going to treat question one and question two together so if you see something like this tomorrow so you take the advantage and let's go the question one here is talking about set and it said that uh, given that the universal set is um s is such that uh, one less than x less than 20. that this x is the value of the number we are talking about we said one less than x definitely when you see one less than x that is s means numbers greater than one and likewise x less than 20 means number less than 20 so we have been given range to, to start with the best way to do this thing is you interpret it back your universal set in a simple way you will understand so i will say my universal set will be since they have told me that the number we start from that is two three four i would like to write it fully so that uh, everybody will be able to grab what we are saying i won't use dot 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 five six seven um eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and nineteen because we it said less than 20 that's our universal set now the now we are now to that our p is um is s such that s is a multiple of three what are the multiples of three in this uh universal set let's bring them up three times one three times two six times three nine and so on like that you follow the pattern since you are talking about location table three six three nine twelve fifteen and 18 and then for those that are prime numbers as for q the prime numbers that is we have for uh, two three five seven eleven we have 13 we have 17 and i think we have 19. so these are the prime numbers we have the multiples of three and we have the prime numbers all right the next thing we're gonna start solving the question on the the first one talk about we should find p intersection q prime q complement that is in this situation we need uh, q complement let's spell it out so that we're able to enjoy our question what are inside q that are, that what are inside there what are not in q let me speak a simple english and this is q what we have in q that are not in the universal set that's what they are talking about so we can see two and three so we can write that one we pick four we can see four in q we can see six in q we can see eight we can see nine we can see ten we can see twelve we can see fourteen fifteen uh sixteen uh, which one again we can see 18 we can see that these are the numbers we cannot see in q if you put the two together you must get your universal set telling you that a subset 
uh, union is complement we give you universal set that's what it means so and we may also want to use p prime let's also spell it out right now so that our question will just be answered without wasting time so what is in p that we can find in q and that we can find universal set we can find two we have four we have three there four five you can see six so we'll go to seven eight we can see nine ten eleven we can see twelve thirteen 14 we can see 15 16 17 we can see 18 and uh, 19 and then 19 that's 19 19 so having this now we can solve our question so that the first one said we should do p intersection q prime that is what is common to p and q prime can we see anything that is common to p and q prime we can see six we can see nine we can see six nine we can see twelve we can see fifteen and likewise we can see we can see 18 so that's the answer to the first one why the second one not the b1 say that uh, we should find p prime union q now this is time i want to combine them without repeating one so this is p prime and the q so let's see how it goes so we have two four five six seven let me take it again two okay we are combining p prime and q p prime and q so we have two let me take it again so we have um two this is our p prime two three we can see four we can see five Five, four, four, yeah, we stop at five. P prime five, seven, seven, eight, ten, eleven, eight, ten, eleven. You can see thirteen, fourteen, fifteen is not there. So we'll go to sixteen, seventeen can be seen, seventeen and 19 can be seen so that one is settled and we move to the next one if the video is too long we will be cutting it so that you'll be able to enjoy it i want to see p union q now this is the first p union q prime the first thing we do is to find our p union q what is p union q let's check combination of p and q so we have two three five two three five six seven nine eleven twelve twelve thirteen 15, 17, 18, and 19. So, therefore, the complement of it will now be what is here that's not in the universal set. So, we can see 2, 3, we can have 4, 5, 6, 7, we can have 8, 9, we can have 10, we can have 10. 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so if you combine if you combine two together will give you the actual number of the items you have here okay to confirm that as we are moving and 
so we continue with number two as we have finished number one um, number two question said uh, the product of ages of Adu and Tanko is less than is nine less than Akurifa's age if Tanko is four years old then Adu Akurifa age is six times Tanko's age find Akurifa's age a very simple word problem the little we just need to do is that we need to interpret all those names to letters for those of you that you are just watching our video for the first time please do where to subscribe press your notification button like and share put your comment in the comment section thank you so let's i will say let's add b a thank you b b why uh the c one will be akurifa akurifa okay akurifa should be c now let's follow the statement quickly they said the product of adu and tanko that is the product of a and b that is a and b is less than akurifa's h is less than that is aquifer's age is equals to this product plus nine this product that is a b you everything goes to c or you can say according to where the statement is you can say aquifer's age is equals to uh you see the same thing they take it again the product is less than that is the you can still say a b is equals to c which is aquifer's age minus nine it's still the same thing any fashion you want to pick up is um the same thing so moving forward uh that's the interpretation of this one then i say if tanko let's call this one equation one now if tanko is four years older than i do that is c is tanko is our b so for Tanko is four years older. Take it again. They said Tanko, which is B. Tanko, which is B. Tanko, which is B, is four years older than Adu. That is, uh, we are four years older. So that means four plus A. Call that one equation two. And the last one talks about Akori first age. That is C is six times tanku was tanku is tanku that is a b that is b equation three we have three equations and the next thing we need to do right now is to simplify it i will start my journey from this one picking equation two you can pick any equation you like as you are convenient i want to pick equation two because my target is to find c which is uh, a qualifier's age. So picking equation 2, which says um, B equals to 4 plus A. You know, this B equals to 4 plus A simply means A equals to B minus 4. I think that one has clarified my equation 1. That is, this is equation 1 clarified. Now, I will now do something. Put A equals to b minus 4 in equation 1 you know my equation 1 is a b equals to c minus now if you like can use this one you also get the same thing i don't want the video to be longer that's why i'm going to exact uh to the exact value rather so what is my a my a is b minus 4 that is b minus 4 into bracket um b equals c you know what my c is my c is already 6 b a my b my c is already 6 b a maybe i should do it orderly so let me say put c equals to 6 b in equation maybe i should call this one equation star 
in equation star the reason i'm doing this is because of this classroom but if it's in the exam you may not need all these steps so i will say b minus 4 open bracket b equals to 6b minus 9 now let me now move forward 5 very fast so b square minus 4b equals to 6b minus 9 collect light time so put everything on this left side minus 4b minus 9b plus uh sorry minus 6b minus 6b plus 9 everything equals to 0 that is b square minus 4 minus that's minus 10b plus 9 equals to 0 and uh, you know that when you factorize this at the end of the day you'll be having uh, b minus 9 and then another one b minus uh, that's b minus 9 yes and b minus 1 because 9 times 1 is 9 minus times minus plus everything equals to 0 so b minus 9 equals to 0 b equals to 9 or b minus 1 equals to 0 so b equals to 1 so that one's settled but they say we should find our corifers um, h which is our letter c remember to find the corifers h which is c remember i will just go to equation theory using using equation 3 or oh, equation 3 like this we say c equals to 6b so c will now be 6 times when 6 times okay when and okay, let me do like this when b equals to 1 c equals to 6 times 1 6 and when b equals to uh, 9 so definitely c will be 6 times 9 which is uh, 54 well, let's go back up to also to confirm so i know it's 54 9 times 6 is 54 we have confirmed that 54 so i could reverse h can either be maybe, i could reverse h either be either be 6 or 54 years or whatever they call it 54 years whatever the unit is and that is it so that's the end of question one and question two for this uh, question we are practicing for work like, if you see something like this tomorrow please take the advantage use it very well question one set it. question two also set it. Take your time also to go through it. If you have anything to say, put it in the comment section. Please do well to press your subscribe button. Share our link with many people so that this platform will grow very well as we are all growing together. And more videos are coming. What we just need is your subscribe button. Press your notification button so that every notification or anytime we are live or updating anything, you'll be the first person to see it. So I'll be expecting you in the next video. Bye.